is a story of a Buick that clocked 10,000 miles in 5,000 minutes. The most grueling test ever devised for an automobile. Designed to supplement exhaustive research at the General Motors proving grounds, this durability test was conducted on the NASCAR track at Daytona Beach to avoid interference with other GM divisions. The 1960 Invicta, equipped with standard turbine drive transmission and standard Wildcat engine, proved Buick superiority conclusively. Engine, transmission, axles, driveline, every moving part took the pounding of 4,000 laps around the high bank track without faltering. Speed was not a part of the test, but it served to create stresses and strains roughly eight times worse than they are in normal turnpike cruising at 60 miles per hour. The test could have gone on indefinitely, but it had proven what it was designed to prove, that Buick does build better automobiles. 10,000 miles is roughly equivalent to the distance from Flint to Detroit, to San Francisco, to Los Angeles, to Miami, to New York, and back to Los Angeles. The film you are about to see shows how the 1960 Buick covered this distance in three and a half days. a race. This is a carefully planned engineering project undertaken by the Buick Division of General Motors and sanctioned by NASCAR, National Association for Stock Cars. It is designed to throw more light on the factors influencing reliability and durability of an automobile. To do this, a standard Buick will be driven around the track for 10,000 miles. The time will be 5,000 minutes, 10,000 miles at an average speed of 120 miles an hour, an average year's driving in three and a half days. Information gained from this run will help engineers design better Buicks in the future and prove the reliability of today's Buick. This is a stock car, yes. But it takes a lot of preparation and careful planning to get ready for the big test. Every part is carefully checked and adjusted. The engine is tuned to give peak performance at the speed necessary for the test run. A lot of effort from a lot of people goes into this project. From the assembly line in Flint to the field crew here in Daytona Beach. To complete the 10,000 mile run in just 5,000 minutes, there is no time for refueling stops. At that speed, the tank needs a refill every 30 minutes. So Buick engineers devised a method of fueling underway, very similar to that used by military jet aircraft. The boom with attached fuel nozzle fits into a receptacle on the rear of the test car. The gas under pressure of about 60 pounds per square inch is forced out into the test car in just six seconds. Six seconds for 15 gallons. The gas tank is specially vented to permit this sudden inrush of fuel. The test Buick uses racing tires to meet the wear and tear of constant laps on the track. A new set is required each thousand miles. Every tire is carefully balanced to ensure maximum wear and safety. About 40 tires will be used during the test run. Once the run begins, these men will take over. The drivers. They're some of the top drivers in the country. Larry Flynn. Bobby John. Larry Frank. Marvin Panch. Tiny Lund. And Fireball Roberts. Each man will drive for two hours, refuel for two hours, and then rest for six hours. Sponge rubber taped to the wheel. An old practice among race drivers, 
It's a lot easier on the hands. Every precaution is taken to ensure safe performance. The drivers have each had a complete physical examination. Now, they give the car its physical. Helmets are individually fitted, the driver's own property. The seat belt is checked. Test start the control tower. How do you read me? Over? Read you loud and clear. Out. Uh, Roger, thank you. Strong roll bars take the shock in case of unexpected trouble. But the best insurance of success is a strong, durable, powerful car and a professional driver. On the morning of the test run, all is in readiness. The electronic timing device will measure the time of each lap precisely within one one hundredth of a second. In the control tower, high over the empty stands, the timing crew stand by. They also keep a constant watch over the car as it roars around the track. Each lap time is instantaneously printed on this tape. Hello there, Central Control. This is the tower. We're all set up here. When do we kick off? Any minute now, Joe. Stand by. 10,000 miles at speeds over 120 miles per hour. It's the toughest test ever thrown at a car's durability. Larry, this is Bob, Central Control. How does the car feel now? You should be up to stabilized conditions. All looks good. Feels good to you. Start you on the next lap. Next lap is time with me. No sweat. Central Control, this is the tower. We got a good start. Central Control. First lap, the timing is perfect. 72.63 seconds. crew gets ready for the first tire change. Between them, they probably changed 100,000 tires. They're tops. Just like everybody else on this test run. And they're tough. Tough enough to take three and a half days of this. With rest between each pit stop, the car gets no rest for 10,000 miles. It's time for the first refueling. There have been many rehearsals, but this time, it's for real. How's your fuel, Larry? Better pick me up on the next lap, Marvin. Okay. I'm leaving the pit. more than 100 to go. It's a grind on the refueling car. From standstill to 120 miles per hour every 30 minutes for three and a half days. A real test for turbine drive transmission in both cars. 
trucks stationed at the four corners of the infield keep a constant watch on the car. Uh, test car, central control. Give me a rundown on your readings. Okay, Daddy, here they come. Water, 180. Vacuum, 4.7. Rear axle, 240. Transmission, 210. Engine oil, 260. And I'm getting hot. Okay, son. Bring your cart in for a tire change. Drivers change every two hours. Alone, lap after lap at the same speed. Fatigue sets in quickly. Men tire. The car does not. A good pit crew is a vital part of a test like this. Four tires changed, oil checked, windows cleaned, refueled, and a new driver behind the wheel. Time, 50 seconds. The Buick goes on and on, hour after hour. The night wears on, and the miles pile up. It's tough on the driver. Eyelids feel like sandpaper, and he fights the monotony. Refueling continues every half hour. Pit stops every two hours. Not a whimper out of the car. It's just starting to get in the groove. That's right, 2,200 miles at the end of 17 hours, right on schedule. Come on, man, I need that gas. Get the lead out. Hold your horses. Here it comes. What do you want, regular or ethanol? Okay, you got it. Thanks, Dad. See you later. Charge it to my account. degree banks at each end of the track. So steep a car won't stay up unless it's really moving. At high speeds, tires burn up quickly. It's a terrific strain on every part of the car. Drivers and crewmen grab a little relaxation whenever they can. It's a real strain, both mental and physical. The car goes on. And it's tough. Tough on springs and shocks, bearings and axles, transmission and brakes. This car is taking a beating with no rest. Sleep becomes a luxury, and it always seems to end too soon. Five hundred laps completed, over 6,200 miles, and the car is taking average speed 120.001 miles per hour, including all pit stops. Drivers and crew members have to refuel, too. It's been a long, tough grind for the men and the Buick. But the end is in sight. Only 24 more hours.
the last night. Over 8,000 miles completed. The routine goes on and on. Refuel. Change tires. Change drivers. The mechanics and drivers haven't left the track since the run started. They've lived and slept with this car. This tough, powerful car that roars on through night and day. Seven tire changes so far, 40 driver changes, almost 90 refuelings. This car can take it. And through the last day, the routine carries on. Everyone is a little more careful if possible. If anything went wrong now, so close to the end, it would be heartbreaking. 9,400 miles completed at speeds ranging from 120 to 130 miles per hour, the equivalent of 2,500 mile races such as the Indianapolis Memorial Day Classic. But speed here is only a method of testing the car's durability, of obtaining data that will help engineers design even better Buicks in the future. This is it. It's so near the end of the run you can feel it in the air. 9,997 and a half miles, boys, and we've got the time to make it. This is it, boy, this is it. The flag's waiting. Come in and take your bow. So it's finished. The toughest, most grueling test a car was ever given. And it took it. Every tearing minute of it. Next year's Buick and the next, and those after that, will be better for it. They knew it would do it. They knew it was a powerful, durable car. All it needed was a chance to prove itself. They gave it the chance. And it did.